don't know the boys and girls, would you like to stand? <laughs> Please do all join in the words when they're printed in bold throughout the service. Jesus Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him and already, to be the glory and power through every age. And this is the day when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life. Throughout the world, Christians celebrate the awesome power of God as we hear and proclaim all that God has done. We can be confident that we share His victory over death and live with Him forever. The light of Christ. The light of Christ. The light of Christ. Hallelujah. Christ is risen.
children. Do you know where that's from? It's from the window. He's not here, he's just Richard has ever been. Now we're going to study from John 20, verses 1 to 18. Matthew 2. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, many Matthews came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. <coughs> so she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked at him and had this bricks of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Peter Simon, who was behind him, arrived and went into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the burial cloth that had been around Jesus' head. The cloth was folded up by itself, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not know and understand the scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes, but Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she went, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said. I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not realize it was Jesus. Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking it was the garden, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in our name. The Lunai, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet returned to the Father. Go in instead to my brother and tell him, I am returning to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them, that he has said these things to her. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Richard. Every Easter since I've been living here, we've sung several songs from the Holtronies today. One is the one we've just sung. And the next one we are going to listen to is a modern Easter hymn, See What a Morning the Lord is in Bright that tells the story in song that we have just heard. I suggest that if you're your in church, if you remain seated, the words will be on the screen. Um, and next we've recorded herself singing this, and of course if you're at home, you can sing your hearts out. It was not. See Mary weeping, where 
face to earth again The voice that spans the years Speaking life, stirring hope And bringing peace to us Will Santa here appears For he lives, Christ is risen from the dead of days through the spirit who clothes faith with certainty order and blessing glory and praise to the king crowned with power and authority and we are raised with him death is dead love and work Christ has conquered and we shall is risen from the dead It's about the word, it's a long word, resurrection. What 
his resurrection. Well, again, just as I said that Easter is not about chocolate, let me tell you a lot, first of all. Easter, re- sorry, resurrection is not the same as life after death. Easter is not the same as life after death. Different religions believe in life after death. Greek pagans believe in it. Muslims believe in it. Resurrection is transformed human physical life. And we heard the story of Jesus raised from the dead bodily. And he could be seen. And he could be touched. And of course Jesus had to tell Mary not to keep on holding him, not to keep on touching him. Because she had to get used to the fact that she was soon not going to be able to do that anymore. And do you think Jesus had a smell? I do. We all have a bit of a smell, don't we? And sometimes it's good, and sometimes, well, you know. Resurrection is transformed human and physical life. And that's what we are celebrating today. This wonderful miracle that Jesus was dead in the tomb, and Jesus rose him, raised him from the dead, and people could see him and touch him and smell him. And the third thing that Easter is about, is about is a sign for us. As you will hear in the service later on, Easter is about death and dying, Jesus dying and rising again from the dead, and about us being joined to Jesus and dying with him and being raised again. And the big symbol of that is baptism. And it's a very physical thing with water. And I'm very pleased today to welcome Tracy to Tracy Stilgo to our service this morning. Last Saturday afternoon, evening, during the football, it doesn't matter. I took the mark emails. Francis, the daughter, sent me an email saying, My mum wants to get baptized before she starts her treatment after Easter. So we had a conversation, and Tracy did a new thing. Do you know what that was? Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. I sent her a link, and you just click on the blue thing, and we had a conversation, and then the next afternoon, we had another one. And you joined us for church in the morning, didn't you? And we had a conversation in the afternoon, and I led Tracy in a prayer to commit her life to Jesus Christ. Just like that. We spent 11 weeks on an alpha course, showing lots and lots of videos, talking with people. Then at the last minute, somebody just rings up and says, I want to be a Christian, I want to be a baptized, can we do it as soon as possible? And the answer is, of course we can. I'm absolutely thrilled. And baptism as I say, it's about dying with Jesus, the old life, dying with Jesus, and we are raised to life, new life with Jesus. And having talked to Tracy again on Monday, as we've done a crash course in Jesus and God, the Holy Communion and everything this week, and we, we talked a lot, and I know that Tracy is living a new life, and you can tell if you speak to her. Francis also, Francis, you have been on a journey in the last year, haven't you? And you joined the people on Zoom, I think, reading the Bible and discovering new life in Jesus. And that brings me to the second bit of the last thing. Two signs. Baptism, which is very physical, with water and you can touch it. Holy Communion. Bread and wine. Now it's a bit different at the moment because most of you aren't going to have the wine. I'm very, very sorry. I think it's coronavirus season. But I will have the wine, and because it is Tracy's and Francis' first communion, I'm going to make an exception. But the thing about the bread and the wine, I'll get it. Am I moving too quickly for the camera? No. You can touch this bread, and you will touch it, and you will taste it, and you will see it. And it's a physical reminder of the broken and 
and risen and transformed the body of Jesus. And that there is one. Jesus' blood shed for the forgiveness of sin, for your and my forgiveness. And that, dear friends, is what Easter is all about. We are all invited to share in Jesus' risen life. Jesus ascended to heaven, but he gave his Holy Spirit, God's empowering presence, to transform our lives. So whatever we're going through at the moment, I know it's not just traced to other people here who have got serious illnesses, are going through treatment in hospital, or other grim circumstances in your life. They won't all go away. But Jesus is there for you. He is there to be with you. And he will transform your and my life if only you ask him and bless him. So later on, after Tracy has been baptised, we will move to the communion service. Um, and you are invited, if you are a baptised member of the church, and you want to be confirmed, or you are confirmed, or it's your habit to have bread and wine, come, I will bring bread to you and pop it in your hand if you particularly have to do. But if you want me to pray for you and bless you, just look at me and you give a God, and I will give you a God, and you know that because I've got my mask on, I'm praying for you. We all need to know God's empowering presence. And this is what Jesus offers to us today. God bless you all. And so we come to the baptism. So, have you all got your service sheets? And I hope you've got a sight of a sheet at home. Uh, it's on the inside on page two, and then it's called baptism. So we should be able to have a button. We thank God for Tracy, who has come to be baptised today. Christ loves her and welcomes her into this church. People in church and at home, will you support her in her journey of faith? We do. In baptism, God calls us out of darkness into this marvellous life. To follow Christ means dying to sin and rising to new life with him. I'm now going to come to the back of the church and trace it. If you'd like to stand. Now the rest of you in church have got a choice. I know you can see, I mean, if you want to turn around, you can watch what's happening. And people at home hopefully can see me on the screen. Okay, so you need your service sheet, and if you stand away from me for the time being, that's what we have to do, isn't it? So, Tracy, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? I reject. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and men? Do you turn to Christ the Savior? Do you submit to Christ as Lord? Do you come to Christ, the way, the truth, and the life? Tracy. Christ claims you for his own. Receive the sign of the cross. No, yes, what I'm going to do is I want to hand wash my hands. So we're just going to have a little bit Because I have to follow the rules, don't I? There we go. There we go. If you could, um, yes, I'll leave that to you in a minute. Yes, I'll, I'll take it. This bit is in the church in the service.
sign is with the sign of the cross. Christ cleanses for his own, receives the sign of the cross. Do not be ashamed of Christ, you are his forever. Everyone, stand waiting for him against all the powers of evil and remain faithful to Christ to the end of your life. May the Almighty God deliver you from the powers of darkness, lead you in the light and lead you to the Amen. Okay, are we all ready now to join in the responses as we gather our hands from us? Praise God, who made heaven and earth, who gives the promise of heaven. Let us give thanks to the Lord and the God, be right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise for your gift of water in creation. For your spirit sweeping over the waters, bringing light and life. For your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, baptized in the river Jordan. We bless you for your creation, brought to birth by water and the spirit. And for your grace bestowed upon us, your children, washing you away in our sins. May your holy and life-giving spirit move upon these waters, restore through them the beauty of your creation and bring those who are baptized to new birth in the family of your church. Drown and sink in the waters of judgment. Anoint your children with power from on high, and make them one with Christ in the freedom of your kingdom. For all might, majesty, dominion, and power are yours, now and forever. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, everyone, would you like to stand? Let us all go together with Tracy, who is being baptised, our common faith in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures. He was buried. He was raised to life on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures. Afterwards, he appeared to his followers and to all the apostles. This we have received, and this we believe. Amen. Um, for you, Tracy, the answer on the cheeks. Tracy, is this your turn? People have known my reputation for splashing water around, but I'm not allowed to do it today. So Tracy, if you'd like to come up here and put your head over Tracy. Tracy. I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm so nervous about this, I give her a hug. I mean, we're not about to, but obviously you're, a, you're, in, you're in a child care about the last week, so, so you're allowed to do all the normal physical human things that we'd like to do. Right, so I'm now going to go back to the front of the church, and uh, there's, there's some more questions and answers now. And this is for everybody who believes your faith in Jesus and for us all to be reminded how God has Christians. So, those who are baptized were called to worship and serve the God. People of God, the St. Lawrence Church, and at home, wherever you are, will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayer? <laughs> Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? <laughs> Will you?
even proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ. <laughs> Will you seek and serve Christ in all people, loving your neighbour as yourself? <laughs> Will you acknowledge Christ's authority over human society by prayer for the world and its leaders, by defending the weak, and by seeking peace and justice? <laughs> May Christ dwell in your hearts through faith. You may be rooted and grounded in love and bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Actually, why don't you all the t shirts turn around and have a look at Tracy? <laughs> By one Spirit, Tracy, we are all baptized into one body. We are the Jews in Israel and the Jews in the We are children of the same family. We are the Jews. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to Him through faith, heirs of the promise of the Spirit's prophecy. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And the Lord is with you. So we give the way to Tracy, to each other, both in church and at home. And would you like to be seated? We're going to have a prayer very shortly. But before we do that, there's one more thing to do. It's our Linda's turn. Mark and Linda, would you mind standing up? I don't think the children will stand up as well. Do you want to be on the camera or not? That's not really. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to announce the band of marriage for Mark and Linda. Now, Mark and Linda know where you live. And they know who you are because they visited your post view in your book. Mm -hmm. Now you're in Daventry, but they remember that you are from where you live. And it's lovely to have you joining us, and we're going to get married on the 15th of May. Is that right? So, I publish the bands of marriage between Mark Allison and Linda Rose Lyon. Both of the parish of St. Lawrence, Long Buckley. This is for the first time of our life. If any of you know any reason in law why they, why they may not be lawfully married, you must address it. So let's pray for Mark and Mary. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. For the gift of love, and we thank you for the love you've given to Mark and Linda, for them between each other. We pray for them and their family as they prepare for married life and in their married life together. In Jesus' name we ask you, bless them and keep their whole family safe. And we do thank you, Lord, for their service. To our local community. Amen. Amen. Well done. Thank you very much. You can sit down now. And what else for us? Let me surprise you. written to the Lord Jesus. The response is, here or there. Enjoying hope, let us pray to the Father. We pray to our risen Saviour, who still out on the whole church for a while, with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection. Risen Lord Jesus, Yes. 
Do we pray for the life of the church, especially giving thanks and prayer that those who are able can meet today for our benefit to worship in our church building? We give thanks that our online services will continue for those unable to come to church and will continue to provide an opportunity for us all to join together in worship as it has over the past year. We ask for your blessing on Tracy for her baptism this morning, and for both Tracy and Francis as they take their first Holy Communion here today. Be with us all as we go forward towards the end of the lockdown. We look forward to a time when we can meet with friends and relatives wherever and whenever we want to. Rhythm, Lord Jesus. Yes. As we celebrate here on this glorious Easter day, we pray for our world. A world where there are countries who have no cause for celebration. Where war, poverty and hunger are constant companions. We particularly think of Myanmar, Syria and Yemen. And today we pray for the people of Taiwan as they mourn the dead after the horrific train crash on Friday. We pray for foreign power. War, famine and all disasters may cease through all the world. Risen Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for everybody throughout this country, Lord, who need your healing or comfort and touch. We think of those who are ill, those with COVID or other illnesses. We pray for the lonely and isolated, and for those who are suffering mental health issues. In a moment of quiet, we bring before you those who are known to us. We give thanks for the continuing successful rollout of the vaccination scheme and for all the science and scientists who developed it and are continuing in their research. We say give thanks for all the NHS and other key workers who are working hard to keep our country going. Risen Lord Jesus. Yes. And finally, we think of those who have died during this last year. Be with their families and friends as they come to terms with the loss of a loved one, whether it has been through COVID or other causes. We hold them in our hearts, knowing that you, Lord, hold them in yours. Heavenly Father, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as his death has recalled us to life, so his continual presence in us and raise us to eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, Judith. Put the lights on the end of the table. So we come now to our community in prayer, and what's going to happen, we will, I will say the community in prayer as usual, and then I will say the body and blood of Christ, you and me, the eternal life. We all say the other way, and I will mask up, I will offer communion to Tracy and to Francis, the bread and the wine, and then to Lois. And that is going to play the organ for us during the communion to be a great
So if you've got your service sheets, just prepare the table. And I have gluten free wafers for people who need them. I know who some people are, but if you're not, if I don't know you and you need a gluten free wafer, will you, you raise a hand now so I can see? No one? Okay, that's great. So let's pray, shall we? Would you like to stand? The Lord is here. <laughs> Lift up your hearts. <laughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Lord of all life, you created the universe where all living things reflect your glory. You give us this great and beautiful earth to discover and to cherish. You make us all, each one of the different to join with the angels and sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and his might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the We thank you, loving Father, because when we turned away, you sent Jesus your Son. He gave his life for us on the cross and showed us the way to live. Send your Holy Spirit that these gifts of bread and wine may be for us Christ's body and his blood. On the night before he died, when darkness had fallen, Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my body, given for you and for men. Do this to remember. After they had eaten, he took a cup of wine and gave thanks and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my blood, poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sin. So, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate his love, his death, his risen life. As you feed us with these gifts, send your Holy Spirit. Change us more and more to be like Jesus, our Savior. Help us, Father, to love one another. As we look forward to that day when suffering is ended and all creation is gathered in your loving arms. And now, Mr. Lawrence, in all your saints, we give you glory through Jesus Christ in the strength of the Spirit, today and forever. Amen. So, would you like to sit for the prayer during the church? We are going to say together the modern version of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, and as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom of the power and the glory of others, now and forever. Amen. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Lord, our hearts hunger for you. Give us this bread. And so, 
the body and blood of Christ. You and me. And uh, Francis would like to come forward. Thank you.
God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection has delivered us from the power of our enemies, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Shall we say this prayer together, a prayer of communion? God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have approached us in death and hope. Fill your church with faith and hope, and we may be the Lord. And the way for us stands open, in our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Would you all like to stand? The God of all grace, who has called you to this eternal glory in Christ Jesus, establish, strengthen, and set you in the earth. And blessing the God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you for one. Amen. There's not a lot of things to do. Your one has to do love. It's the first one. We've got lighted candles, lighted from our Easter candle. Thank you, Dalmahal, for preparing the new cross on our Easter candle. Those of you, some of you will remember the deliberate mistake in the next sheet where I got the tracing and dropped it around all the way. The tracing that second and got you on that line. Dropped it and got you on that line. God has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and has given us a place with the saints in light. Tracing, dropped it. You have received the light of Christ. Walk in this light all the days of your life. Shine as the light in the world to the glory of God the Father. Go in the light and peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. There's only one thing that can absolutely compulse your on Easter today, and I have to be dying in glory. And you have a choice. You can either sit and listen with people at home to uh, the St. Martin Singers to sit in it, or you can follow me out of church, into the churchyard, or the I go to stand opposite the um, memorial, the war memorial, and we can gather around in a socially distant and responsible way, and I will lead us in singing out of which is you don't have to go. This is a choice. If you want, if you prefer to stay, stay. 
and that's absolutely fine. But um, I think some people want the opportunity to sit outside in the sunshine and we have a sign for a long time together. So if you want to, there's absolutely no compulsion. And so if I will leave people out and then at the last time, well, you don't want to see us sitting at home here. You can start playing whatever you like. <laughs>